¿Cómo están mis amigos? ¿Bien? ¿Good? Well, that's wonderful to hear. I'm having fun and keeping busy here at home. I hope you are. You know, I really miss reading with my friends, so I thought maybe we could read a story together. What do you think? Okay, really? Good. The book I have for us is a bilingual book. It is both in English and in Spanish, and it's called The Best Mariachi in the World. El Mejor Mariachi del Mundo. It's written by J.D. Smith and illustrated by Donnie Jones. Oh, on the first page here, we have a sombrero, which is a large hat that a mariachi, a musician, would wear on their head. It's a very, very large hat. And we have maracas. Do you guys know what maracas are? I have one here, look. It's just like the shaky eggs in the library. So, if you guys are bored at home, maybe you could see if you could make a maraca at home with your parents' help, okay? So you would just take a bottle and you would fill it up with uncooked rice or beans, glue the lid on, and shake, 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 shake. Let's start our story. The best mariachi in the world. Gustavo was the worst mariachi in the world. Everyone else in the family band could play an instrument, but not Gustavo. He did not play songs at weddings or at restaurants. He did not wear un traje de charro or un sombrero. So we already said that a sombrero is that big hat. A traje de charro is the suit that the mariachis are wearing in his family. Sometimes he reached for the bow of his brother Raimundo's violin. Raimundo quietly said, Don't touch the bow of mi violin. You might break it. It is not for you. Sometimes Gustavo tried to play his Uncle Enrique's brass trumpet. Uncle Enrique gently said, Put down la trompeta. You might drop it. It is not for you. Gustavo did not even try to pick up his father's guitarron. It was taller than he was. He looks so sad, my friends, mis amigos. Gustavo wondered how it would feel to strum the long strings, the long cuerdas. He imagined everyone would listen. People would look at him. The men and women would get up and dance. All the children would dance and clap. He would be Gustavo, the great mariachi. But that would never happen. No one would let him play. He would always be the worst mariachi in the world. Poor Gustavo, look, even his perritos worried about him. Gustavo got up one morning before dawn. He looked out into the desert and saw the cacti. The saguaros stood like huge trees. These are the saguaros, my friends. See how tall they are? The nopales lay close to the ground. Do you think you can find the nopales? They have a little red fruit on them that you can eat. It's very sweet. The sky was a black bowl of stars. A coyote padded over the sand. Somewhere an owl hooted, Ooh, ooh. Everything was beautiful. Isn't it beautiful? No one was there to play, but he had to stand up and sing. He just had to cantar. He sang softly at first, barely moving his lips. The next day, he got up a little earlier. He sang in a whisper. De la morena. The next day after that, Gustavo cantó a little bit louder. De la Sierra Morena. The following day, he sang louder still. He did not think about where he was or how early it was. De la Sierra Morena, cielito lindo, viene bajando. Gustavo kept singing. He sang of traveling men. He sang of faraway places and of coming home again. He sang all the songs he knew. He sang all las canciones that he knew like his own name. 
A crowd of people came out to listen. At last, Gustavo finished singing. He was done with his canciones. He turned to go inside. It was time to feed the chickens. What do you guys think is going to happen? The people started to clap. Can you guys clap for Gustavo? Come on, let's clap. Clap, clap, clap. I can't clap right now because I'm holding the book. Clap for me. They liked his singing. They were cla clapping for his sucanto. Gustavo, they called out. Bravo. Muy bueno. They kept clapping. Women waved their handkerchiefs. Gustavo, Gustavo, bravo. His brother gave him a big hug and said, you are a real mariachi. His father said, you, my son, Nico, just may be the best mariachi in the world. Look how happy they are. His perrito is even happy. His cousins carried Gustavo, the best mariachi, into the house. They made him a huge breakfast. Mmm, what are these? Do my friends know? Then they fed the chickens for him. The next time the band played, Gustavo wore un traje de charro. He wore un sombrero. He sang las canciones that brought everyone outside. All the people clapped and cheered. Gustavo, bravo, Gustavo. He took off his sombrero and took a deep bow. This, Gustavo thought, is for me. Y colorín colorado, este cuento sacado. The end. Yay, I had so much fun, my friends. Did you guys? Well, I hope everybody keeps busy. Remember, you can always read books on Hoopla. There's even some that are um, automated so they have music and the characters move. They read to you. Um, have a good day and stay safe. Adios. Ciao. Bye. Nos vemos pronto.